And who are we speaking with today? Hassan Özdemir. And we are at the Edgewater. Yes. And now last year you made uh, Cherry's Jubilee. We prepared Cherry's Jubilee and it worked excellent. Mm -hmm. And now we are into spring. We are going to prepare uh, strawberries Romanov. Wonderful, wonderful. To preparation time, we are going to do it. And the same as like the cherries you believe and how do we prepare it? We need a copper pan, one orange, one lemon, okay. three fourth cup of white sugar, okay. and about uh, three cup of fresh strawberries we picked earlier. Yep. And uh, yep. earlier time we did, uh, when we picked the strawberries, I prepared as like a strawberry preserve kind of thing. It says we boil the strawberries, it's like a, you just mush it down, just like it adds up a little bit thicker. And we are going to need a cheesecloth for the to take the seeds off it. Okay. And uh, we are going to prepare a tablespoon of butter. Ah. And we are going to have a coriander and a cinnamon. And a flambe with the uh, crème uh -huh. And later on, after we prepare all that area, and we are going to do the setup part is the mm -hmm. mixture of vanilla ice cream, like a French vanilla ice cream, and wow. the homemade whipped cream. Oh. So we're going to serve in the glasses I chowed uh, previously, like I uh, cut uh, like a four pieces of strawberries. Very nice. When it comes to preparation time, we're going to put the butters in the pan. Okay. We had the uh, orange and uh, lemon zest. Yeah, how much of that do you put in? Uh, just like a one, one orange and one lemon, we're just gonna zest all around it, not oh, actually okay. everything in there. Okay. And uh, we are gonna cut in half when we are done with that. Mm -hmm. We'll let the butter melt it down. When it melts it down, just, uh, I don't love the smell of the zester, actually. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna, Sprinkle a little bit of coriander. Coriander, okay. It adds a really good flavors on it too. Nice. And we're gonna put our sugar. As I said, like a three-fourth cup because these strawberries are really sweet. We don't need to, uh, to add too much sugar in it. So we can use now the cheesecloth to put them over and squeeze the juice inside. Okay. And that cheesecloth is going to keep the seeds from getting in there, is that correct? Yes, it does. That smells nice. And this is the dish, actually, when we are using the regular white sugar, it's, we have to keep an eye on it so we can't leave a too much space and time. Earlier, so we did from the fresh strawberries again. Yeah. So we're just gonna, it's like a, the strawberry preserve, but it's not exactly because we are using fresh strawberries. So just like a, when, it, when it cooks down, okay. it'll just like a loses itself. It's just, it opens up really good actually. And we are gonna flambe a little bit. Okay. And by that you mean flambe is when you add? add we are adding uh, the garnier and it just like opens up the liquor, has more flavor in it. Okay. Uh, well, when you're flambeing, you can t uh, pull your pan a little bit back and just uh, clear everything in like a little bit uh, hot spot. We can create a little hot spot and pull everything in the back until it warm up the pan. Because when you do preparation like this, it uh, catches up the flame really easy. Okay. And you can sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on it. A little cinnamon. Oh, that went up too. That's pretty. And if you like a little bit, uh, just a... Uh, uh, Flavors as a little strawberries. Mm -hmm. This area is almost over. Now we're gonna move over to the right side. On my right over here, I already prepared a cut earlier. Okay. A little bit larger dish. If you have a the salad bowl kind of stuff, you're gonna put like a crushed ice in the bottom, uh -huh. and uh, one scoop of ice cream and one scoop of uh, homemade whipped cream. So you can add, add it on, and uh, because when you are uh, we have a whisk and a spoon for the serve, because yes. when we are preparing these, you're gonna need all these uh, tools to use them. So again, get prepared. Do you know, this like a, as I said, like a preparation time is a little takes about five minutes. Yeah. 
And we are going to move this over here, just uh, put everything over to the ice cream. Now you said that's, that's homemade whipped cream. It is, yes. Ice cream. Ice cream is the French vanilla. It's not the homemade, but we can do homemade ice cream too. It takes okay. a, little, it's a little more time consuming. Uh -huh. And now we're going to, we're gonna pour over, then we can serve. That's it. This is it.